All right, so the first step of syncing our Airbnb calendar with our Google Calendar is actually going to Airbnb's website. Once you log in, you're gonna to wanna to switch to hosting because it defaults to the guest view. Now, once you're on the hosting side, you would think that you would wanna go look at the calendar section, but it's actually under menu and then listing. So once you come under this listing section, then we're gonna to go to pricing and availability. And down here, we've got this calendar sync. And this is where all the magic happens. If you wanna sync with Google Calendar, if you wanna sync with VRBO, this is where you go to export your Airbnb calendar to those other platforms. And the cool thing is you're not just exporting the history of your calendar, you're actually exporting a URL, which is an iCal URL. And you can Google iCal and kind of look up how it works. It's a pretty cool calendar protocol. But basically what this means is every day it's going to pull from this iCal URL and get your updated calendar. I'm not sure the rate that Apple Calendar updates as well, but it's the same process if you want to sync with Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, or VRBO. They just pull the information from this link and then they have the updated information from your calendar and you don't have to do this once a day. All right, with all that out of the way, we're going to copy this URL and then we're going to go over here to Google Calendar. And I've actually already imported this calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then I'm going to click add. And then we're going to go to from URL. You don't want to go to import because that is going to be importing a calendar from a file we're gonna use a URL to import our calendar. That's the link that we copied from Airbnb and we're just gonna paste that in. Honestly, the hard part to all of this is just knowing where this import and export calendar buttons are right here. That's why I was saying that this is so important. Back over here in Google Calendar, we're just gonna paste this link in and we're gonna click add calendar. And then you can make it publicly accessible if you wanna share it with your friends and stuff like that so they can book on days too. And now it's gonna have pulled in all of your reservations. Now there's two other things I wanna look at and I'll go over the setting that may help this work better for you first. And then we'll look at how to import our Google Calendar back into Airbnb. So you can actually block off dates on your Google Calendar and then it'll block those dates for Airbnb. The setting that I was talking about is actually this little page, which is kind of a hidden gem. I had to do a bunch of Googling and reading through forums to find this page, but I'm just going to give you the URL so you can go directly to this page. And that's calendar.google.com slash calendar slash u slash zero slash sync select. And here, this is default unchecked, but you want to check your new calendar and then click save. And this helps it sync more often. I'm not exactly sure what, why, or how this works or why you can't easily get to that screen from inside of your calendar. But this is a setting that a lot of people said helped their calendar become more responsive. So if you're having issues with your Google Calendar not being responsive enough, then I would definitely check this setting out. And honestly, as soon as I set my calendar up, I set this setting immediately because why not? It doesn't hurt anything, so might as well give it a try. So that's really it for syncing your Airbnb calendar with Google Calendar. Now we're gonna look at doing it the other way around. So you go to the calendar that you want to share with Airbnb, click settings and sharing, and then you can scroll down on this page that's calendar settings. And you're looking for this iCal right here, public address in iCal format. So you just copy this and then you come over to your Airbnb and you click import calendar. So from here, I can just paste that calendar URL in and then I can name the calendar uh, Darren Google Cal right? And then I can click import calendar and then it's going to pull. Okay. So then it doesn't work by default. And that is because this calendar isn't public. I'm going to go ahead and make this calendar public. And then I'm going to come back to Google calendar and I'm going to click the import button again. So once I do that, the calendar has been imported and now it's going to update with Airbnb. From this point, we've got our Google calendar synced into our Airbnb calendar. And then we've got our Airbnb calendar synced with our Google calendar. And if you're trying to sync with VRBO, it's going to be the same process. The only difference is going to be where the buttons are on the VRBO side. But yeah, that's really it. And I hope this helps you out. At this point, you know how to sync your Airbnb calendar with Google calendar and your Google calendar back to Airbnb. And that's really helpful because it's the same way for Apple calendar or VRBO. So if you want to sync any calendar with your Airbnb, then this is the way to go. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.